In this video, we'll teach you how to create cinematic travel map animation in Wondershare Filmora. Welcome to the Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get updates on our new videos. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box. Click on the free download option. Now, a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go. Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. First, let's go to Photoshop, zoom in on your map, select the pencil tool, and add a layer above your map, and start creating a line from the start point to the end point on your map. Then add a shadow effect and save this image in JPG format in the same folder. Then go back to Filmora and import your map images and pointer. Drop the Photoshop image on track 1 and make it 20 seconds long. Then drop the map image on track 2 and make it 20 seconds long and hide this track. Double click on it to go to the animation. Set the scale at 115% for both images. Then increase the scale to 400% x-axis to 704, y-axis to 80 at 5 seconds position. Move 15 frames and add a black keyframe. Go to 11 seconds. Here we change x-axis to negative 540 and y-axis to 290. Located at the 15 seconds, we change x-axis value to negative 780 and y-axis to negative 150. Go to 15 frames further and add the blank keyframes. Stop at 19 seconds and 5th frame. Change the scale to 200% and reset the X and Y axis. Apply all the same keyframes to the image on track 1. At the end, change the scale to 115%. Point at 5 seconds. Select and unhide track 2. Under Video tab, we click on the mask and select Circle. Tick Invert Mask option here. Set Blur Strength to 1%. Set X-Axis to negative 345, scale to 35. Horizontal and Vertical to 10. Add Mask Keyframe. Stop at 10 seconds. Increase the scale to 174%. And change the X-Axis to negative 225. Stop at 15 seconds. Set the scale at 200% and X-Axis to 70. Next, drop the pointer at the 4 second and 15th frame position. Double click on it. Under Color tab, find Darken effect in the left side of Advanced Panel, and apply the same effect on the map image on track 1 and 2. Now go to the video and apply the shadow effect to a pointer. Under Video Basic section, enable the Drop Shadow option. Adjust the color, distance, blur value as you like. Now double click on Pointer Click. Go to the animation. Move it at the starting point of the line and reduce the scale to 0%. Go 5 frames further and set the scale at 25% and adjust its position. Then go 5 frames further and set the scale at 15% and adjust its position, so that it will come out with a pop-up effect. Then add a blank keyframe at 15 frames further. Now here, you can see our pointers moving with the map. In order to fix it at the starting point, we need to follow the same step, make the pointer go out of the screen. Then drop another pointer at the 14 seconds and 15th frame position, and add keyframes as we did with starting point pointer for the pop-up effect. Next step, we need to zoom out pointer while the map is zooming out. Set the pointer at the end position and reduce its scale to create a proper zoom out effect. You can use the position and reduce its scale to create a proper zoom out effect. You can use the zoom level feature to set the pointer properly at the end point. Finally, apply some effect on this. Here we choose 80mm dirt film grain effect on track 4 and make it 20 seconds long. Then apply flicker 1 effect on track 5 and change its opacity to 50%. To give a more cinematic look, we can apply cinematic bar and change bar height to 0.06. Now click on render for smooth playback. That's it! That's how you can create a cinematic travel map in Filmora. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. Bye!